If you saw the last vlog, I'm supposed to be in the Bahamas right now. I'm not. We're still in Orlando. It's rainy, and we are headed towards uh, Megacon. So that is going to be some quick testimonial and B-roll for the Visit Florida Tourism Board. Extremely quick shoot, which is why I have everything packed up, ready to go, and we're about to arrive. Today's assignment was provided by a company that I've been freelancing for for about the last four years. They send me all around the U.S. covering conferences and conventions, and I've become really familiar with the type of work. I'm a valuable asset to them, and they are a very valuable client to me. So today, they are my client. Their client is a marketing agency, and their client is a part of the Board of Tourism. So when you work your way all the way down to me, I'm holding the camera, but it's good to know who's paying money and what is their creative goal for today. But she knows what she wants. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. The first part of any conference work is grabbing a badge and it usually takes longer than you want, which is why I love having my camera gear set up and ready to go you don't want to be a kink in the chain of tasks being executed. So the more mobile and quick you are, the more fun it is for them to work with you. Okay, the point of this B-roll is to show that it is a crowded show, which it is. So we're grabbing a time lapse of people entering and uh, just letting it roll for about three, four minutes. And we can do that because the C70 got the upgrade for interval recording and RAW. And we are definitely not shooting RAW. This is corporate work uh, that's going to be turned around immediately. So it's 1080, 30 frames per second, 8-bit, Rec. 709. Very, very simple, fast stuff. I wish I had more footage of the actual booths and attractions inside. But every time I saw something cool, I shot it with the main camera. So I just have this exterior angle. But I was walking through um, the huge show floor. And that's why it's very important to be light on your gear and be able to pivot as soon as you see something catch your attention. Because it usually happens and then it ends extremely fast. The schedule originally said 30 minutes for B-roll. But when you're getting interviews from these high profile people, they need you to work off of their time. So we heard that he was ready for his testimonial. So we picked up, went to a location that we scouted a few minutes before and began rolling as quick as possible. Headphones are in, audio levels look good, and I like to kick out the LCD screen specifically for the host so they can look back and get a quick reference for framing. But this is a very typical set structure that I do, single camera. I put the host on the side, and then on the other side, the far side, I have a light giving some shape to the person's face. That's the best setup that I've found, and when it works, it just works. The clients like it. I like it. We finish the interview. The guy says thank you, and he's on his way. And you can see we have about five, six people part of our group. So grabbing some more signage and just getting some extra stuff that maybe they could use in B-roll. I've edited a lot of these pieces too, so I know what the editor wants and what they might need to cover up some of the stitch points in the edit. Normally a full day is 10 hours, so this is extremely rare to wrap up in less than two. The client had a hard drive and we delivered footage right there. Okay, so we transferred footage. They're taking it back to their headquarters. And as for me, I'm done for today, which that is one thing I love about corporate work is if you're a shooter, you shoot and then you're done. So this is a local job, so I'll be back home in like 30 minutes, and that's it.